one thing that I objected to in the bill was that the physicians would all be paid a standard fee, regardless of training or experience. And I think that would greatly uh, reduce the quality of medical care in the United States. And uh, so, let's see. Well, that was the main thing that I wanted to say. And uh, I think that no one would go into medicine. We would have a lot of poorly qualified physicians. And I wondered what would happen to the uh, medical licensure board, which is a protection for patients, of course, uh, for example, in Texas. And the other thing is, when are they going to, to uh, reduce values for, uh, for attorneys? Uh, when are they going to reduce how much in, in suits? I think that's gone a long way. But those are great points. Uh, first is, is the quality of the healthcare professionals. And um, I think that uh, you know, if they're participating in a system that uh, is basically turning them into a federal employee, they're a government worker, there's, there's not going to be the not going to be incentivized to go through four years of med school, internship, residency, take on all the student loans. And my brother's a physician. and. Uh, it's a lot of work to get there. And if, 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 if this is dead, there's not a whole lot of incentive. In fact, that's why we've seen a shortage of healthcare professionals in Britain and in Canada. And in fact, their chief um, health officer in Canada said they were on the brink of a collapse. And basically warned us not to go down this road. But it doesn't work. And that's coming from their guy. And, and so, so then in my more rural counties, that, that will decrease the, the uh, numbers of physicians which they already have a problem with anyway. And, and, uh, and yeah, I just could agree with you more on that. And then the second point, I'm trying to remember what it was, but uh, the, um, oh, the, yeah, the, 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 one thing that's been left out of this debate and not used is a medical liability reform, you know, the tort reform piece. In Texas, we have a pretty good state law uh, I co-sponsored a bill that would make that state law apply across the nation because so many doctors run so many tests that, that really the only, they, the only reason they do it is out of fear of lawsuit. And they're trying to protect themselves from getting sued by, by an attorney. And that drives up the cost of health care because you're getting all these tests, some, some legit, but some maybe don't need all these tests. 